Detective Loki, I'm gonna find your daughters. Dad, there was this RV and they were playing on it. That RV was reported matching the description. Show me your hands! Well, this thing's clean. Don't okay. talk. Arrest it. He said he took them. Make it stop! The girls are still out there somewhere. Every day, she's wondering why I'm not there. Me, not you, but me! What in the world did you do? Rated R. Hi, everybody. It's the Universal Critic. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. A subgenre of film that has taken a considerable nosedive over the years has been the suspense thriller. Once upon a time, they were often ranked among the highest echelons of Hollywood in no small part thanks to one of my all-time favorite filmmakers, Alfred Hitchcock. But, like most other genres, suspense thrillers eventually became far too mass-produced and mainstream to be considered, for lack of a better term, high art. But today I'm reviewing Prisoners, a film that, judging by the significant Oscar buzz it's generating, and the quality of the film itself, it might just be a sign of a, of a return of that golden age of suspense. Prisoners tells the story of two families, the Dovers, played by Hugh Jackman and Maria Bello, and the Birches, played by Terrence Howard and Viola Davis. Their relatively normal lives are suddenly uprooted when their daughters, Anna and Joey, disappear without a trace. Jake Gyllenhaal comes in as Detective Loki, a cop who is assigned to the case, who must contend with the rage and desperation of the two families while still keeping his head level in order to solve the case. What really sells this movie is the acting. Jackman and Gyllenhaal really have chemistry in this film in that they, are, they play polar opposites. Jackman, understandably so, comes across as an emotionally shattered man who will go to almost psychotic degrees to find the girls, and believe me when I say he does. Gyllenhaal, on the other hand, plays a cop who, obviously, must stay detached and professional, although by the end he clearly shows to have grown very attached to the situation emotionally. Howard, Bellow, and Davis give it their all despite having relatively little to do, but to be fair, the focus is on Jackman and Gyllenhaal and not them. It's no coincidence that I mentioned Hitchcock earlier in this review, as the story and production techniques used in the film are practically screaming Hitchcock. The fear of the unknown, people's desperation in trying to control things, the many twists and turns in the plot, especially at the ending. All these things manage to echo Hitchcock without coming across as derivative. However, this does bring me to the aspect of the film that I'm certain will polarize audiences the most, the ending. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not referring to the twist, to the plot twist at the end. That's done very well, even if it is a bit complicated, but I won't go any further than that to avoid spoilers. I'm referring to the very, very last shot of the film, which is very abrupt and very ambigu ambiguous. So you'll either love it or you'll hate it. I loved it, but I can see why many of you are going to hate it. Honestly, the only real complaint I have with the film is its length. It's not that the film is boring, far from it, it's just that some parts towards the middle of the film got... seemed to get too much focus at the story's overall expense. Thankfully, that's a fairly minor complaint, which I think allows me to give Prisoners a very enthusiastic big screen rating, as it is great to see a suspense thriller with both tension and depth again. I'm the Universal Critic, I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want, goodbye.